Hi everyone, I'm Valerie, marketing team at Dashly. Now, my friends, let me tell you a story. A story about an online store that increased revenue by 28%. But before I start, make sure that you have subscribed to our channel and let the notification bell ring. Watch this video up to the end because something special is waiting for you. So here we go. Now, imagine every website visitor of an online store turns into a customer that is purchasing something. Well, that type of situation is very alluring to any marketer. Well, that is actually not really easy to achieve, but still that is possible. And my story is going to cover the ways you can increase sales in your online store. And it actually all starts with the right lead generation. Well, as far as I see, not every company is serious about lead generation, but people should be. Well, actually, lead generation is pretty simple. Like, for example, potential customers can easily share with you their contact information on any step of the funnel, like at the beginning of uh, the first visit to your online store or somewhere during the exploration of your goods and items that you sell, and finally, when they will leave your online store. So basically, there are quite many opportunities to grab every lead opportunity. And now meet George, the founder of an online store that sells equipment for underwater hunting. So lead generation helped George increase sales in his online store by 28%. So that's a really nice number for an online store that sells underwater equipment. Okay, let's take a look at this step-by-step -step process, what George did and what was actually implemented to get those 28%. Note that all the campaigns that we are going to cover in this video are aimed at totally new customers of any online store. Let's start. So it all starts with getting acquainted with your customers. So it like all starts with the, the initial and the first stage of welcoming your website visitors. Here, lead generation starts with nicely presented lead magnets in the form of a pop-up window. For example, pop-up windows that collect email addresses. It is actually pretty easy to see if your website visitors are interested in your store or not. And once you make sure that yes, they are ready to buy or yes, there is some interest from their side, just feel free to ask them to share their email address with you, but in a friendly manner. Like, for example, you can offer a gift for the first purchase. So those who are really interested in what you offer will definitely remember the gift that was actually offered in the pop-up window. Indeed, you can understand that people are interested or not in your products during the first minute. And that is why George initiated a pop-up window after 30 seconds. Yeah, just 30 seconds. That is pretty enough to find out if people are interested in your website or not, or interested in your goods or not. So uh, that type of pop-up window was shown after 30 seconds in their online store. Well, look, this pop-up window contains a great message. So they let their website visitors feel like they are a part of the community. And this community is always happy to see them and they even give a present. Well, the customer's loyalty is rising up, so why not share their email address? Now let's take a look at the results of this pop-up window. First of all, it worked. A bit more than 3% of website visitors shared their email address uh, with the online store and 74% of the people who received an email opened it. So in other words, they have read the welcoming message. Hey, wait, there's actually one more important result that was brought by this pop-up window. A number of sales. Whenever you launch a pop-up window, just make sure it also looks fine on a mobile device. With exactly this pop-up window, only 2% of website visitors who attended from the mobile device shared their email address with the online store. All right, and now we're moving to the next stage of the funnel. And that's where George wants to make friends with their potential customers. So you remember that that online store is for the fans of underwater hunting. And indeed, that is actually a very special, very unique group of people, right? And imagine when a person who is fond of underwater hunting meets another person who has actually the same passion. Well, indeed, they are likely to make friends. 
Yeah, that's because not so many people can share this passion, yeah. So of course, those who visit online store with underwater equipment are likely to join the community of people who are the same, because they would like to interact with each other, share the experience, ask some questions, find the answers, and so on. So once George created a special group on Facebook for those who are interested in underwater hunting, and people who visited this online store and came from Facebook were welcomed by a special type of message. Well, their social nets audience is extremely loyal. About 8% of website visitors from those channels have left their email address and 64% have opened the following email message. Well, therefore, it is indeed important to keep in mind other types of promotion channels like social nets and communities. So once George makes friends with his new website visitors and potential customers, indeed, he wants to give some value to them and he wants to help them. Like, especially he wants to help those who are totally new to underwater hunting, like me, for example. So I don't know much about underwater hunting. Like, probably I even don't know anything about them. I don't know a thing about underwater hunting. Okay, I know that you need a special suit then probably you need that sort of weapon and probably also need something um, where you can carry what you're going to hunt, right? Okay, and that's where George is actually the perfect helper. So George is an experienced hunter and definitely he knows what to tell you about. And here's another communication process that is built on this online store. Whenever you dive in the catalog of all the items for the underwater hunting, you see this type of pop-up window. Well, it helps, you to, it helps you to dive into the information that is necessary to know and, of course, to learn before you dive underwater. This pop-up window is shown to users three times. Yeah, it's not pushy, no, it won't disturb experienced hunters. Well. Actually, they also need some information sometimes. As you can see, you can share your email address in that pop-up window and get more information delivered to your email box. Well, the email contains some selection of items, some ads, and also some tips. So George is sharing his expertise with you and indeed, you're going to trust him more and more. How did that pop-up window work? Well, more than 3% of website visitors shared their email address with George. And of course, the main functionality of this pop-up window is to get website visitors back to the website and probably complete the purchase. All right, and now the next stage of the funnel. So, George has made friends. Then, George has helped his new friends to make choices or George has shared his expertise. And now it's time to share secrets. Like this is another way uh, to help your customers make the right choice. Companies usually have a blog where they put all the information about the items they sell, some tips, some action plans and whatnot. This is typically a very useful and personalized information. Like you can offer your customers or potential customers read an article on a certain stage of the funnel. Let's see how this type of message worked for George's online store. A customer was viewing a particular item that is necessary for the underwater hunting and a little while later this pop-up window is shown to them. Next, the potential customer receives an article to their email box. Well, do you have any ideas how this type of message worked and what the conversion rate was? So, unfortunately, that message didn't work really well and about 1% of the potential customers share their email address with George. Well, probably that is due to a very narrow topic that is offered in a pop-up window. Well, anyways, that type of campaign may be easily reworked. So if you have a blog, you can test it easily. Okay, next stage of the funnel. So returning customers to an online store is a pretty popular campaign with e-commerce. Well, actually, better not only show the items that the person might be interested in, but also share some useful information. Or you can also share some tips. But one thing that works perfectly well for almost every e-commerce store is offering some benefit, like a discount or a promo code. 
So who doesn't want to save money or probably get a gift along with the purchase? Let's see what pop-up window was launched by George. So the conversion rate of this pop-up window is a bit under 1%, but this message has more purposes than just lead generation. It is the recommendation pop-up window. So it keeps customers browsing the website again and it affects the bounce rate positively. And as I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, we can also get customers back or actually tell them that we are waiting for them when they leave a website. This is especially popular with the abandoned cart campaigns and it's a little bit similar to what we've just been talking about. Well, this pop-up window was shown to those who had added items to the cart and were about to leave the website. So what was offered to that type of customers? To share their email address and get all the items straight to their email box so as not to forget what they were interested about. And you already know that that type of email is indeed accompanied by a discount or a promo code. So this message was a record breaker. The conversion rate to email sharing was 12% and 33% of those who have read the email came back to the website and made an order. So now let's summarize this uh, success story of George and his uh, underwater hunting equipment store. Thanks to the automation that was built with Dashly, George has received an overall lead conversion rate of 2.4% and 18.5% of leads have converted into ordering. So the discount and the promo code policy were the most successful ones, along with the abandoned card emails. While some campaigns were not really useful, other campaigns proved their efficiency. Like, don't forget to test what actually works for your online store and for your audience. And to sum it up, let's note the key points of this story. First of all, make friends with your website visitors. Then share some useful information with them, like notify about the promotions, offer some gifts, and then try to be as supportive as possible. Don't forget to show that you are more than an online store. You are a friend for your customers who is ready to help, support, and even teach something new. And finally, the good news is that you can build the same automation campaigns in Dashly. Just go and create your Dashly account and enjoy the full stack of opportunities to grow your e-commerce store. And the first seven days of trial are totally free. So enjoy all the features during the seven days of trial. You can find the link to the sign up below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure you receive the notifications once a new video is live. We are happy to share with you even more marketing tips. So stay tuned. Bye.